there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter with a haul video. Haul video hands. That's something new I've just invented. Okay, so I had a $100 gift card to Jerry's Artorama that I got to spend. And um, I got some pretty awesome deals, if I do say so. It was first great deal because it was free to me, so I was excited. Actually, I spent... My hands are purple for some crazy reason. Um, actually, I spent... Um, like ten dollars um because i had a hundred dollar gift certificate to use um so what i bought the first thing i was like you know i really want to get um i want to complete my pan pastel collection so i got the um 20 color extra dark shades set and i'm going to give you a little tip there if you are looking if you're going to buy pan pastels the most affordable way to do it is um i would recommend starting off with the 20 color painting set which is all the colors, all the pure colors. So if you look at the um, Pan Pastel color family, maybe there's a swatch in here. There probably is. There usually is. Let me see. Let me see in the literature here. Little Pan Pastel tips for you. Um, so if you look at the Pan Pastel color family, you get... Um, the base color which is like the hues without any white or black added and those 20 colors are found in the 20 painting kit and so I recommend getting that first because there also is a white and a black in the, in the painting set so you can really mix a lot of colors and they're very blendable um, then I probably recommend you getting the shades or the tints and the, the shades are the base color with a little bit of black the tints are the base color with a little bit of white and then the extra dark shades, which are the last ones um, I would recommend to pick up, um, are the shades with more black added. So, um, so if you're, if I would recommend collecting them in that order if you are considering the pan pastels. They also have like mixed media kits and and smaller kits um, depending on what you want to paint. And they also have portrait kits and landscape kits um, if that's all you're interested in. But uh, but I didn't go that route because I knew if I got the there were so many duplicates between sets going any other way other than getting these um, by the painting set, the pastel, the tints, the shades, and the extra dark tints. That way I didn't get any duplicates. I did get one of the mixed media sets because I really liked the colors, but then I found that I had duplicates. Um, actually, I started by getting three individual little pans of color in colors that I thought would be really great. So, And they're in like several kits, so I ended up with some duplicates. But they're colors that I would use up anyway because they're my favorites. Um, still wondering what is on my hand. I have no idea. I think it came from my table. No. And okay, so the base the uh, extra dark tints comes with um, 20 colors in these little pots and there is like ounce for ounce there's a lot more material in the pan pastels than like a lot of other like chalk sets so even though it's kind of crazy expensive um, you you do get more for your money um, so I paid well I didn't I had to give a certificate but this ended up being $58 and the retail on this is $109, but it was the Jerry's price is like $78, and then I had a 25% off coupon. Um, so this comes with one big sponge and a bunch of the smaller sponges and tools. And they're like in these little um, these little storage containers that fit on like with the pan pastel. Um, little compacts of color and then you've got a couple little um, palette knives which I actually like these I bought these first and some sponges to use with my regular chalks to see if they would work um, just as well as pan pastels they're not as soft um, they're really cool tools, tools to have in any event but um, I did graduate up to the pan pastels and in my opinion they're worth the money but obviously if you can get them for $58 a set as opposed to $109 a set um, I would go for it and that is Jerry's Artorama and um, it's and it's because you can use your coupon with that sale price and you can't do that at other sites and um, it was the welcome 25% off coupon you have to be signed up for the mailing list in order to get that though just so you know um, so that was the first thing and then um, I prefer to use my pen pastels on a palette so I got a, a 20 tray palette it's more affordable than getting the 10 tray palettes um, and I also got the set of mediums, which I'd been kind of, I kind of wanted them after I got, after I watched the demonstration at the stamp show, there was a lady using the colorless blender medium. And then I see there's a black pearl, a black coarse, a regular white pearl medium, which is probably very similar to the white pearl, color, except no, I think these are transparent. I don't know. Um, I'll let you know when I use them. Colorless blender. So there is... Um, I'm missing something. Oh, the pearl medium fine, the pearl medium coarse. So it's how big the particles are. And it does give you some more things in there. And this, you know, getting to take the 25% off these as well. I think these were maybe 17 regular 35 like retail. So, you know, it was a great deal. And, you know, I had a free gift certificate to play with. So, um, so there. 
you know, it might be a little, you know, I know there were things I intended on getting eventually anyway, so I was really happy. And also with my gift certificate, I did splurge and get the four inch and six inch round jelly plates. Uh, I've wanted these for a while, and yes, you can make your own permanent gelatin plate, but they're a little more fragile. doesn't really matter because you can melt them down and reuse them. I'm talking about the homemade one, and I'll put a link to my homemade one. Hopefully I'll remember. If not, if you're watching and you know where that video is, you can put it in the video description. I'm really bad at that, especially when I'm scheduling stuff ahead, and I'm probably on vacation right now, and that's why you're seeing this all video. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. Um, I don't know when I'm going to post it. Um, but these are really durable, and I tend to take these traveling and teaching classes and whatnot, and I just know I'm not going to get a scratch across this like I might with a homemade one, and I might not have the access to be able to just melt it right down there. So this, I know, will work out well for me in classes. And uh, they're like huge, really like huge, clear, high-quality stamps. So that's how I'm going to use it. I saw some really great tutorials using them like stamps, so I'm really excited to give that a try. Um, and I got the um, this little thing of gum Arabic. It was about two bucks. Um, it's the Jacquard gum Arabic. Like I think it's meant to like mix with um, Perlex and make it into a watercolor. But you can mix this with water, make the paste, and then use it just like liquid gum Arabic. And I was just about out of my liquid gum Arabic that I had of the Da Vinci brand. It had gone up quite a bit in price, so I thought, why don't I try this powder and see how that works? Because I like to try new things. All right, that does it for my Jerry's haul. Um, and then this is a new product I'm gonna review. This was from um, Amazon. It's from the company. Well, Amazon. You can get it on Amazon.com. Um, the company Plastic Craft asked me if I would review this product, and um, there are these moldable plastic pellets that you heat up in hot water, and then you can mold it into different things like beads and other uh, craft supplies. And I'm looking forward to trying that. I think they're a lot like the um, friendly plastic pellets too. So. I'm really looking forward to having a good time playing with those. And then I did a little order at Joann's because they were having a 40% off all um, stamping supplies, paper crafting supplies, and um, I, there was a few items that I wanted to pick up. This background stamp, I really, it's un unusual. It's not like anything I have, and I like to layer my background stamps, and I like to um, kind of make my own pattern paper, and I thought it would be a really nice, unique um, stamp it almost reminds me of like um, kind of where the wild things are an old children's book illustration so I thought that would be really fun to do some backgrounds with um, I also got these two from Prima oh that was honestly I don't remember what that was it was 40% off whatever the regular price is these were about $3.50 each these sets um, from Prima and they're kind of brush strokes and brush splatters and they're bigger and just different than any other ones I have and yes I like to splatter paint all over the place anyway however if you're doing that on a card and you've got juicy paint it's going to wrinkle your card so here I can kind of control where I want it and um, I think it's going to be fun now the reason the Prima stamps are cheaper I'll show you here and you probably noticed this with like the uh, Julie Nutting stamps and other ones is that I don't think they're rubber I think they're vinyl I'll only show you here. I like to, yeah, I'm smelling it. You hear me take a whiff? Yes, I like to smell my stamps. It's a little weird, I know. Um, but this isn't rubber. This is vinyl. Um, it's cheaper, so it's you know doesn't cost as much. But for something like this, I think this, I think the the impression will be good enough. If it's not stamping very well, then I will scuff it up with an emery board, and that should uh, do the trick. But um, that's why their stamps are really big and less expensive. Just you know, lower quality material, material used, not a big deal. Um, definitely worth the price, I think. So. Those will be fun to play with. I'm looking forward to it. And um, I grabbed two of these Avery L storage pockets um, because they were 50% off, I think. when I Yeah, I think the dye stuff was 50% off. Um, and I got these because um, a very nice lady donated a bunch of dyes to me, and I really don't have a good solution for storing the thin dyes. And so I got these because I saw Jennifer McGuire work using them, and they look like a really good um, idea for storing die sets, especially dyes and stamps that go together. I think these will help. They're supposed to be really thick. Let's take a look at them. So I think I paid five dollars for set of twenty-five. I think the regular eleven or something like that. They were fifty percent off. Um, so they're kind of a thick plastic with a little tab on the top. Hopefully they're not going to rip and they're going to do as well. I kind of trust what Jennifer McGuire says and she says they've held up for her really well. I'm pretty sure that's what she said she used. So I grabbed a couple of those to, um, maybe, I paid, maybe they were $5.99, regular $11.99. I think that's what it, what it was. So I grabbed those. These um, are Stampers Anonymous I, Cityscapes. I like this because I want to do some scene building and I know it hasn't really been that popular lately. Um, but I think it's kind of a, a technique that would be really fun to play with. So you've got these really nice cityscapes. 
and I'm kind of in a bookmark kick too so these would be fun on a bookmark even if I don't use them um, to build scenes so there we'll, we'll see there's also kind of some like the the London one is very carnival because you have the eye of London but I also thought well I could use that if I'm scrapping a trip to the fair or amusement park or something so. And I did not have any long plates for my die cut machine, so I got some because um, uh, my my friend Sherlock had sent me the big Tim Holtz tattered flowers, but it was a really big one. I didn't have any really big dies, so I got these plates to use with that. And um, I figured I could really line up a bunch of dies and crank them through at once, and that might be kind of cool too. So, and if not, I got some really big stamp mounts. Right? I can use those for huge stamp mounts. You know, I always look at different ways I can use things, and they are 50% off so what the heck and um, I also got this at Joann's this is the Stampendous Creative Palette and honestly I'm just kind of curious as to how it compares to the um, the jelly plate it's thinner and I think it feels nice and sticky I've always been happy with Stampendous quality and I'm gonna smell it because I like to smell things mmm smells good smells uh, sweet like high quality polymer stamps so hopefully that is the case my daughter's making a face at me. Yes, I like to smell the stamps. That's how you know if they're good. If they smell sweet, they're good. If they're clear stamps and they smell sweet. But this was kind of a good bargain, I thought. It was on sale for, I think it was 17 Regular price was 30 Maybe it was less. It was 40% off whatever the regular price was. But anyway, I know I paid less, quite quite a bit less than 20 for it. I think it was 17 or maybe even less. But it's got this size, which is your regular A2 size card. Um plate then it's got this which is like a six by nine or actually 4.75 by 7.75 so it's at like half sheet rectangle and like a quarter sheet rectangle so i thought it'd be kind of neat for just printing cards and um and you can get those smooth bulk packs of cards at like ac more or joann's like for five bucks so 50 packs of cards and envelopes so i figured that'd be kind of a fun way to make some card sets um an experiment but actually have something because the thing with jelly printing is that or gelatin printing, you've got, you end up with so many prints and it's like, what are you going to do with them? Well, if I can actually make them right on card bases and either have a base that I can layer other things on or, you know, maybe even just have a quick set of thank you cards or note cards, I have something useful from my endeavors. And then it's got these other kind of fun little stamps to add texture or just to rubber stamp with, which I think is just an ingenious idea. And, um, and it was, you know, kind of a cheaper alternative to the, to the jelly plate, which, you know, I have... Uh, the, uh, 8x10 and I enjoy it and it's wonderful but I, I um, want to try that too because I've always been happy with the Stampenna's products so that was what I got on my various hauls and that's why I sound posh probably because I've got this stamp here it makes me feel posh because London people are posh aren't they? people from London all you posh people out there I don't know so there you have it some fun things that I'm going to play with shortly thank you so much for watching please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and if you like haul videos and um i don't think anyone needs to share this it's just between you and i people that subscribe to me already i don't think i don't think the average person's gonna give a flying anything what I, i'm trying keeping it g-rated um what i bought but maybe you do and if not you've already left long ago so anyway happy crafting